only one we have, but this thunderstorm has been severe for over the last hour as it developed near Orlando International Airport, pushed through Christmas, and now it's in Brevard County. A lot of lightning strikes with this thunderstorm, and some of that heavy rain headed toward Titusville in the next six minutes. Actually, it's on the south side of Titusville at this point, I-95, Mims, LaGrange, also uh, Carpenter Drive. You can see those thunderstorms developing right here, Port St. John, Indian River. That's where the strongest thunderstorm is. South into Brevard County, all the way down, Rockledge, Melbourne, Palm Bay. Not a lot going on, spotty rain, but this is where I'm expecting the potential for more strong thunderstorms through 8 o'clock. Otherwise, we'll continue to watch some heavy rain across Daytona Beach, a lot of lightning, but the severe potential here is actually going down as we already have rain mixing up the atmosphere. Now, in Orlando, south side, Belle Isle, Kyle, uh, Conway, you can see some downpours here, but again, our severe weather risk in Orlando for now. Uh, is uh, at least low, again, just along the eastern coastline. Now, we have another batch of rain approaching from the west. This is weakening. Nonetheless, this may give us a few more showers into the overnight. So, pretty active weather pattern. The storm threats, again, mainly south of Titusville for the next two hours. Lightning, a quick one to two inches of rain, and strong winds with some of those stronger thunderstorms. Even some small hail. We had some reports near Winter Garden of uh, some of that hail. Uh, this is where the thunderstorms are coming from. 91 degrees in Orlando today, record heat in Melbourne. Now the temperature is cool in the 70s to low 80s, but it's still hot in Melbourne. So we still have the energy for strong thunderstorms till the rain passes. Future Track 9 has a lot of that rain off the coast at 8 o'clock. Then overnight, you can see a few isolated showers here. So we're going to keep rain in the forecast overnight through tomorrow morning. And then once again, tomorrow afternoon, another risk for strong thunderstorms. We're actually under a slight risk for severe weather for tomorrow. And I'll talk more about that in Eyewitness News at 11 o'clock tonight. So here's that five-day forecast that we get always in view for you. We have thunderstorms this evening. Overnight, a few more showers or storms. Tomorrow afternoon, 88, a 70% chance for afternoon storms. Could be strong, then a little quieter for the rest of the week. We'll be right back.